Golden Towers 10K. Here we go. I feel like I'm in a dream. Oh my God. This is Alton Towers 10K. Which includes the rides in your entry ticket, which is quite a nice perk. I'll read you the website description. Starting and finishing within Alton Towers theme park, this is an event for the entire family. Open to all abilities, that's why I'm here. You can take on a chip time 5K, 10K or half marathon to earn yourself a unique themed medal before enjoying the incredible rides at the park. I've created an animated map to show you where the route goes within the theme park. That is the halfway point. Passing the monorail, we walk to the entrance of Alton Towers, following a lady and a man wearing the squeakiest running shoes I've ever heard. I spoke to them briefly, and his partner said that after this race, he would definitely be getting rid of them. Morning, morning. Runners filing into a theme park was quite a unique sight. The monorail glided in, and I surveyed the participants gathering in the morning sunlight. Our 5K started just after 10. A brief conversation about the route, and it was quickly getting crowded as live music began. <laughs> I think the realisation that this is not a small event is slowly dawning. The idea that, oh, Walton Towers 10k, we'll just pop along. I mean, look how many portaloos there are. It's mental. Just over the water, you can see the original Alton Towers that the theme park was built around. The towers were built in the early 1800s before work began on the vast gardens. 170 years later, in 1980, Alton Towers was opened as a theme park. So we just had a really quick chat to the organiser, Matt, and he told us that there are 2,000 entrants for the 10k and 1,000 for the 5k. That's a few more than we thought. We began our warm-up. Immediately, a surreal setting as we passed Spinball Wizard. We're now warming up through the CBeebies area. Well, this is weird. We've got adventure music, roller coasters, and we're on a warm-up ride. Oh, look at this! The stage! Age area, Louise. You never saw anything. What are they? <laughs> it's sort of like running through a dream. There's a ride called Pippity Hop. But then we just had a very fast female pass us. Fast triathlete, you were saying? Yeah. What level? World? Yeah, she does half Ironman. <laughs> She's the best in the world, isn't it? I think beat her at London Marathon. You beat her at London Marathon. Well, good. We've massively underestimated this. What is happening? In the bag drop, the jog on tops came out. What do you reckon? You ready for the 10K? Me neither. Organiser Matt barked some directions to waiting runners, and we warmed up with a few strides before filing down to the start line. Well, this is going to be fun. <laughs> yeah. All right. A selection of fast looking men had gathered, as well as one guy in a full black tracksuit. So we're going to have your shoe, silver side hat. Starting just metres from the towers themselves, I hadn't realised in that moment that I'd caught the world's smoothest man. So smooth. One runner at the front by the name of Mike turned to me and said he enjoyed the jog on videos. Waiting for the 10k to begin, I noticed the world-class triathlete Lucy just up to my left. GB Louise to my right. Battle was about to commence. The clock was counting towards 10am, our start time. The guy dressed as a burglar was still confidently standing, ready to go. I leant over and wished Mike a good run. Hey dude, good luck. 10, 9, 8, 3, 2, 1, and we're off! It had begun. Run, Alton oh. Towers wow. is well and- And immediately, the guy training for a robbery managed to trip the runner behind and himself in the process. What was he doing? Truly underway. <laughs> oh, look at this. <laughs> Alton Towers 10K, here we go. Flooding up the path, a woman held up a helpful sign to remind us of the activity at hand. Love it! What is happening? A few hundred metres in and the pace was settling as my racing flats tapped across the wet tarmac. Our route first took us sweeping past the entrance to 13, which sits just below the track of the infamously speedy... <laughs> Rita. This is surreal. My photo was taken and we came back past the Beef Eaters, followed by Hex, a story-based ride opened in 2000. Live music, Beef Eaters. What more could you want? Three minutes and those people are still filing through that start line. I spoke to the man next to me. This is glorious. Yes. Yeah, it's quite different. Yeah. I'm someone who's distracted from the pain, you know. I'm the same man. I'm nostalgic <laughs> when I used to come as a kid, yeah. And then, excitingly, the course came upon what is for me the most legendary ride of them all. So we're about to run under oblivion. It's probably my favourite roller coaster ever. Tagline, don't look down, themed in black and orange. Amazing. A sheer drop of insanity, this beautiful structure was opened in 1998, and it's brilliant. <laughs> Of course, I went straight on. No chip. That ride is crazy. Thank you, Marshall. 
There's a guy just ahead of us in a full tracksuit. Not sure how long he's gonna last. Running past the Smiler, I was amazed at the amount of people still walking up to get through the start line and begin their 10K. This is people still queuing to go through the start line. Wow, this is crazy. I had slowly reeled in criminal Ed Sheeran, who was showing serious signs of struggle. Heading into the CBB's area, where we warmed up. Light-hearted music around us, there in CBB's land, criminal Ed Sheeran surrendered. The tracksuit man is down. Awesome. Love it. Imagination let loose, I envisaged myself on stage dancing with the Teletubbies. A lot of twists and turns. We next ran under the scariest ride the park has to offer, the Get Set Go treetop adventure. <laughs> This is up there as one of the weirdest 10Ks I've done. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a girl in a blue top shot past as I checked the pace. Second kilometre, 425. With that, we came across one of the newer attractions at the park. The Wiggle Man. Opened in 2018 at a build cost of £16 million and the first wooden roller coaster for 22 years in the UK. Weirdly, it also includes fire. I mean, full marks for scenery. Climbing up towards some enthusiastic marshals. Thank you. I spotted the classic runaway train. This is runaway train, Lewis. Currently we're on the runaway train, which is always a little deceiving. It's quicker than you expect. Oh my! Talking to the camera, Blue Top Girl thought I was speaking to her. It's not going to be the most rapid course I've ever run, but the scenery is absolutely spectacular. Look at you. <laughs> Can a man get some presenting done? Advancing along the route the alien sculpture ahead could only mean one ride. Nemesis. Incredibly, opened only two and a half years after I was born, this roller coaster hit speeds of 50 miles per hour. That was quick. Also quick was Mark Thompson, a man clad in pink with boat-like shoes. Following Mark Thompson, I again encountered a runner who took my camera etiquette as general chit-chat. This is a less scenic car park area. Weird this route, isn't it, mate? Thank you, guys, for keeping to the left. Going through those rides before was weird. Loving a downhill, Blue Top Girl came back at us. Love the downhill. Keep running, guys. Keep to your left-hand side as we come down the hill. Back a bit. Chasing her around the corner, I tried another update. So having gone through the rise, this is a slightly less spectacular car park area. Yeah, well, I like this for a bit. <laughs> yeah. No twisting and turning. A bit more relaxed. Absolutely. 3.5k. Yeah. This looks interesting. Knees up, knees up. That's it. Yeah! Go on, that touch. What is happening? Thank you. Oh, refreshing. The halfway mark came and went. I think about 20.55 for the 5k. From where I was running, the monorail was in full view, ferrying visitors to a water park known as Splash Landings, which was spent getting washed away by cascades of water and accidentally going down slides facing the wrong way. Five and a half kilometers done. Legs are just a little bit fried. Not quite getting a bounce off of them that I'd like. So keep the pace up and see where it gets us. I think we are now making our way back into the park. I wonder how Louise is doing. Hopefully blasting it near the front. I watched as more runners made their way along the same route. Just passed through seven kilometers. That was a 409. Thank you. Cheers. She looked cold. There you go, the jogger on van. Nice to glimpse. Home base, if you like. Rolling beneath the monorail station, the course wound its way to the final car park section. Oh man, it's a twisty turny route. A woman dragged her child to safety. Hello guys. Thank you. I clicked through eight kilometers and we were about to re-enter the park. Go up here splitting five and 10K. God, my calves are on fire. Join in with the 5K runners now. Bit under two kilometers to go. Horton Towers, 10K. One of the uh, weirder runs I've done. I feel like I'm in a dream. You're part way around, you're not sure if it's the tiredness or what, but you think you're hallucinating. You see a large Teletubby or something, you think, really? Thank you. To finish fast approaching, we were now close to the zombie shooting thriller, Duel. Back on it for the first time since I was a child, it turned out to still be quite the experience. Shoot ah! Just starting to approach the nine kilometer mark, which will leave us with a thousand meters of finish. Helicopter overhead approaching the towers themselves once again. And the historical gardens. I must admit, I had concerns that they would send us down into that valley, and that really would be some big hills. As it is, it's been a mixture of theme park, bit of car park, some twists and turns, and a few really short, steep hills. Absolutely spectacular. Right past the beef eaters. Mr. Neon, that's a new one. Back down through the old stone walls of the towers, the band was still playing. <laughs> Bad, 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 bad. 
This was the final straight, and helpful sign woman was there waiting. Here we go, it's time for the finish. Thank you very much. The finish was right in front of us. You can get past the photographer, and then you can gasp for breath. Alton Towers 10K was done. Okay. No, you all did a brilliant job. What well, a strange everyone. run that was, but awesome at the same time. I'd snuck just inside 42 minutes, and the top 50. Louise updated me that she'd come close to the triathlete, but not quite held on over the final couple of kilometers. She was second female and seventh overall out of 2,048 runners. Unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe my 12 seconds. I closed her. Yeah. Have a good day. Thank you. Louise finished signing autographs. I closed her. I worked yeah. so hard in the middle. And then just that triathlon strength. Yeah, yeah. What was your time? 36.01. Oh, yeah, but you saw that course. What is this? That looks amazing. Love it, thank you. These guys contact me about the YouTube channel. Thank really you. Amazing. They want to sponsor. I'll think about it. It's like a buffet at the end. This is amazing. I spotted Mike again. How'd you do, dude? 36, 40. Awesome, awesome. You guys must have been pretty close yeah, then. You must have been close. Me up, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Second place female, Louise. Yay! Yes, Louise. So Louise ran a 36.01. Well done, Louise. Get that photo. Louise's prize bag contained many items. Holy moly! Have you ever wondered if it's worth all they the finished, training and right. the hundreds of miles? It yeah. is when you get a bag like so this. Yeah. Amazing. Well done, Louise. That was awesome. Love that. So final time was 41.56 for the 10K. The calves were really starting to burn. I wore almost sort of a racing flat today. Nothing too chunky. A strange race because for the first couple of kilometers, you're running under roller coasters through CBeebies land. Then you hit a car park for a few kilometers and then you're back in the park again. The smell of candy floss and what I think was sort of toffee popcorn in the air. For a race, it was quite a weird sensory experience. You really went to win. Double world class triathlete there. You were still within just a few seconds of her. It was a great run. This has been all Charles 10K. I'm Harry Morgan. That's Louise. And this is Jogger. <laughs> Here we are. What? what? Oh, brilliant. The most confident duck ever. Look at him. What do you know? I'm Harry Morgan. This was Alton Towers 10K. I'm Harry Morgan. What is happening?